no this one will be minus 16 right so this much yeah. is minus 16 then what is after that minus 16 after that minus 19 yes minus 16 minus 3 and that is equal to minus 19 and the RHS is 13. So again, they are not equal. So it does not satisfy the equation or you can say it is not a solution. Next, P is equal to zero. Four multiplied zero, it will be zero itself. Yes. And then minus three. Very good. So it, will be, it will be three. Three or minus three? Minus three. Yes, the LHS will be 0 minus 3. So that is equal to minus 3. All right, very good. Um, then we didn't do the third one. Uh, we will how, discuss it today. How is it minus 3? How is it minus 3? Okay. What is 0 minus 3, Hiba? 3. 0 minus 3 is 3. Then what is 0 plus 3? Three? 3. 3. So 0 minus 3 and 0 plus 3, they can both be the same thing? Yeah. They can? Okay, let's see it on the number line. Uh, you have a number line here. This is my 0. Okay. And wait a minute. This is my zero and the negative one, I'm going to mark it like this. My negative one, negative two, negative three and positive one, positive two, positive three. Now the question is saying zero minus three, minus three. So when it is saying zero minus three, that means you start at zero, right? You start from here and where do you go? You, you go minus to, to the left or to the right? Uh, three units to the left. Three units to the left, exactly. So when you go three units to the left, where do you reach? Minus three. Exactly. So now tell me what is the answer? Uh, minus three. Zero minus three is equal to minus three. Okay, understood? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, now let's move on to the next question. Just a minute, Hiba. Yeah. So the next question, which one? Uh, yeah, the fourth question, right? Yeah, fourth one and question number five. fourth one and the fifth one okay so the fourth one question number part five so yeah i think we didn't do part four also did we yeah. no we completed we completed last class okay in the last class we did this one also that uh, yeah. the number B divided by 5 gives 6? We did the first four questions and the last one. Okay. So can you tell me what was the answer of the fourth part? B divided by 5 is equal to 6. Okay. All right. Let's do the fifth part now. And can you tell me what was the answer for the third part? Ten times a is seventy. Ten times a is equal to seventy. Yeah. Okay. Chalo. Now let's talk about the fifth part. Three fourth of p is fifteen. Three by fourth multiplied hmm. t is equal to fifteen. Okay. Three by four multiplied by t is equal to fifteen. Very good. Next sixth part, seven times M 
plus seven gets you seventy-seven. I think we did this. And uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, seven. Seven multiplied m plus seven is equal to seven seventy-seven. Very good. You see, you can also write it as seven m. Instead of writing it as seven multiplied by m, you can also write it as seven m. Okay. Okay. That will be easier actually. There's a reason I'm saying this because uh, when you go, uh, when you do actual calculations in this, then you will need to write it in this format. Okay. Uh, okay. Next question. One fourth of a number minus four gives four. One by four yes. multiply x. Mm -hmm. Minus four is equal to four. Very good. Next, uh, if you take away six from six times y, you get sixty. Six multiplied y minus six is equal to sixty. Very good. You did all of these by yourself. Yes. Mashallah, very nice, Siba. So you wrote it like this. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Uh, we completed this one. We class. did this in the class. Okay. Now, do you want to uh, talk about the fifth question? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let's discuss. Yes, Hiba. What do we have to do? The fifth one. Have you done it? No, you didn't give me this as as the homework. Okay. Uh, did I give you the sixth one then? No, you only gave me second and fourth. Okay. Okay. Fine. Let's do this together again. Just a minute. Just a sec. Fine. So let's first do this. Um, let's first do the fifth one, and then we'll go to the third one. So the fifth question: Write the following equations in statement forms. How can you write this in statement form? We have to uh, find. Uh... It's basically just the opposite of what you did in the fourth question. Okay, in the fourth question, in the fourth question, they had given you English statements, and that you had to translate into mathematical statements, right? But in this question, you have a mathematical statement, and that you have to translate into English. Understood. Yes. Yeah. So now, can you do that? The first one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there there is no one correct answer for this. You can have multiple answers. Okay. A p added to four gives you fifteen. Very good. Uh, let me give you one more uh, example of this. We can say four more than p is fifteen, or we can say fifteen. Is four more than p? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Second one. Is uh m m m uh m is subtracted 
from seven gives you three. Mm -hmm. M mm. is not subtracted from seven. Seven is subtracted from M, right? Seven yeah. is subtracted from M. A smaller number is subtracted from a bigger number. Seven uh, subtracted from M gives you three. Okay, next. Yes. Hmm. Uh, two times M gives you seven. Very good. Next. M divided by five gives you three. Very good. Next. A three by three by fifth of M gives yes. you six. Actually, uh, you can also call it three fifth of M. Right? Oh. Three fifth of a number gives you six. You can say it like this. Okay. Three fifth of a number gives you six. Next. Four multiplied, uh, sorry, four times P minus two gives you 18. Tell me the sixth one first. 3p plus 4 equals 25. Let me give you a hint. Oh, sorry. Let me give you a hint for the sixth one. 4 added to 3 times p gives you 25. Okay, so repeat after me. 4, time, four added to 3 times p gives you 25. Very good. Now, can you say the same thing for seven? Two subtracted from four times p gives you 18. Very good. Next. P, Eighth one. P divided by two. Sorry. Two added to p, div uh, p divided by two gives you eight. You can also say two added to half of p because p by two is nothing but a half. one by two one of by p, two. right? Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. We have done the sixth one. Now let's go to the third question. Solve the following equations by trial and error method. Okay, so see, there are many different uh, methods of solving equations. What do you mean by solving an equation? Uh, can you tell me the page number? Same, same page number. Question number three. Same page number, same, page 18. Oh. Yeah, sorry, 81, page 81. Question number three. Yeah, so can you tell me what do you mean, uh, what do you understand by solving an equation? like to find the answer of a mathematical question okay and uh, more specifically it means to find the to find that value of the variable like for example over here uh, in question number three first part the variable is p right so to find that value of p which will satisfy the equation or you can say for which value of P, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. So let's try this. Let's see which value of P will satisfy this equation. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. So, uh, yeah. 
so p is my variable i can try to plug in different numbers into this variable and see which number gives me 17 which number gives me this result so i'm going to mark the result in a blue color okay so i am going to put different values of p first let's start with 1 okay 1 put 1 as put p as 1 put p as 1 and see whether can i see the answer yeah tell 5 multiplied 3 gives you mm-hmm. 15 15 plus 2 is equal to 17 very good okay and how did you find that out just by guessing it right yeah yeah so this is called trial and error method why because first you're going to put like one number you're going to say okay i'm going to put 1 and see so when you put 1 in this you get 5 multiplied by 1 is 5 and 5 plus 2 is 7 and that is not equal to 17 so then again you will say okay this is an error like you know we made a mistake by putting 1 now you'll put 2 then 2 also won't give an answer then you put 3 and you will see that the lhs is equal to rhs now do the same thing for the b part uh okay so one sec let me so the solution of this equation the solution of this equation is p is equal to 3 yeah now second part 3m minus 4 is equal to 14 I'm sorry. Minus fourteen is equal to four. Yes, Hiba. Any ideas yet? Yeah, I'm thinking. Can you give me one minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. A three multiplied six minus a uh, uh, three multiplied six minus fourteen. Yes. Yeah, so m will be equal to six because then the left hand side will become three multiplied by six is eighteen. Eighteen minus fourteen will give you four. Okay. Very good. So you understood now how to do this by trial and error method. Yes, this is called trial and error method. Why? Because you're going to try putting in different numbers, and then you're going to check, right? So now we're going to see how do we solve an equation. So, um. Let's see this. Heba, let's say you have a pan balance or a weighing balance, okay? And let me just uh, let me just one sec. I'm just gonna open a resource for you. Let's see.
just a minute. Okay, Hiba, I'm going to share my screen with you. Can you see this? Okay. Yes. Okay. So on the left hand side, the equation is, or let me just. One sec. Um, all right. So what, what do we have on the left hand side? Wait, let me just. Uh... Fine. Uh, Hiba, what do we have on the left hand side? 4 multiplied minus 3. No, no, it's 4x. This is 4x. And this is minus 3. This is 3x. And this is plus 2. So the equation on the left hand side is 4x. Don't get confused that there are too many there uh, via their x's on both the sides of the equation. Don't get confused in that. Just see what I'm going to do now. What I'm doing is I am going to remove this one from this side. What I'm doing, we have we have two blocks of one on the right hand side, right? Yeah. I am going to remove one of them. Or let's say it like this. I am going to subtract one from the right hand side. So if I subtract one from the right hand side, what do you think will happen to the left hand side? It will go down. Mm, yes, you can say that if you have a pan balance and let's say I'm going to do this. What, what did I do? On the right hand side, I am adding one. Okay. I am adding one more block. So when I add one more block to the right hand side, the right hand side will become heavier. Because of becoming heavier, it will go down. Sorry. But the uh, thing about an equation is that we have to keep it balanced. That's why it's an equation. Equation means both of the sides are equal to one another. They are both equal. So to keep you, them equal. Yes, Hiba? If you remove one from the right hand side, the left hand side will be lifted. Uh if I remove one from the right hand side, the right hand side will become, uh, it will become lighter, isn't it? How? Okay, Hiba, think of it like this. You have gone to a shop, you have gone to a shop um, to buy something and there's a pan balance like this. On the left hand side, or, or let's say on the right hand side of the pan balance on this side, there are some apples. Okay. And on the left hand side, they have put that uh, the, the kg and everything, the stones that they have. So on the right hand side, you have apples. If you add more apples on the right hand side, then the right hand side will become heavier. So it will keep going down. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And if that one goes down, then the left one will come up because they are not balanced. So what happens is on the right hand side, if you add one kg of apples, then on the left hand side also, you will have to add one kg of something else. You will have to add one kg of, let's say, stones. Okay, then the left hand side and right hand side, both of them will be balanced. If they are not balanced, then it's not an equation. So remember this, an equation needs to be balanced. So what do we, what we do is that in an equation, if I am adding something to, to the right hand side, then I have to add the same amount to the left hand side as well. Are you understanding? Yes. So see, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add plus one on the right hand side and left hand side both. Okay. I'm going to add one on both the sides. So observe what happens to the, to the, to the pan in the balance. And observe what happens in the equation also. So what is the equation right now on the left-hand side? 
3x minus 3. Right hand side? 3x plus 2. Yeah. So why is it minus 3? It is minus 3 because you can see there's a negative 1. So there's negative, there's 3, uh, look, that looks like a lollipop. There's three lollipops that have negative one written on them. Okay, so that's three times negative one. So that's negative three. So I'm going to add one on both the sides. See what will happen to both the sides. Okay. Hmm? They are still balanced. Why? Because I added one. So when I added one, this negative one went away. Right? So I had negative three. And I added one to that. I added a positive one to that. So negative three became negative two. It went a little bit more into the positive direction. And in the right hand side, that became positive one. Did you understand this? Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to add one more positive one. On the right hand side, it became plus four. Left hand side, minus one. Okay. There, it is still balanced. Look at it. Right hand side. Yeah. Now what I'm going to do now, see, I am going to what I want is I want to know what is the value of X. So what I want to do is I want to keep X on one side and the number on one side. So I want to eliminate or I want to remove the numbers that were there on the left hand side, the constants on the left hand side and I want to remove the variable that is there on the right hand side so that variable can go and it will be in one place. It will be in the left hand side only and the constant will be in the right hand side only. So now I will start removing the X from the right hand side and see what happens. Okay. So I'm removing the X. I'm doing minus X and when I'm doing minus X, both the sides get a minus X. I'm doing minus X on both sides. So that one was 4x, it became 3x. This one was 2x, 3, it became 2x. Okay. Now, I, when I'm subtracting x, I am doing it on both the sides. So it is still remaining balanced. The value of the equation is not changing. So are you seeing? We found out what is the value of x. What is x equal to? Five. X is equal to 5. Did you understand this? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So, do you want to try this out? First, tell me. Now, so, there are four options over here, right? You have plus X, minus X, plus 1, and minus 1. Your goal should be to keep uh, the variable on one side and constant. Constant means this one. The seven constant means that term which does not have any variable. Variable is this 5x, 4x, okay? And constant is 1 and 7. This is constant. Why? Because 1 and 7, the value of 1 and the value of 7 is fixed. It's not varying. That's why we call it a constant. Constant is something that doesn't change. Okay, now tell me what should I do to remove? Uh, I need to concentrate all the variables on one side and constants on one side. So tell me. Yes, what do we do now? Can you explain? Okay, so what we need to do is we need to have the constants on one side of the equation, either left or right, and variables on another side of the equation, either left or right. So look at this pan. Do you think it's easier to remove all of the x's from this pan or it's easier to remove the one from this pan? If, see, what will happen if we remove the one from the left pan, we will have to remove a one from the right pan also. Okay, are you understanding this? Yeah. So tell me what can we do in order to 
remove or we can say in order to have all the variables in one side of the equation and constants in one side of the equation Can that means uh, first let's try to remove the constant okay what that means is in one pan you should only have x's and in the other pan you should only have ones and no x's so can we remove the one from this pan yeah so can i do this minus one yeah so i did minus one and if you notice on this right hand or right hand side also they removed a minus one so one one uh, block of minus one block of one also it got reduced so now tell me what can we do now we need to remove the x's right because see if you do a minus one then one more block of one got removed from the right side but in the left side you got another thing of negative one so if you do negative one negative one it will keep happening so there's no use of doing that now tell me what we can do out of these four it's okay just try whatever options you know it's like a trial and error method just just try tell me which option should i choose it's okay it doesn't have to be right just guess positive 1 if i do positive 1 then my equation is not going anywhere it's not becoming any simpler see look at this one this became simpler right it became simpler now all i need to do is i need to get rid of the x term from the right hand side of this equation so i need to get rid of this x term can you do that yeah. how will you do that minus x yes so see what happens if i do minus x x get gets reduced from both of the sides now next what should i do next see each time i press a minus x it will remove a minus x um it will remove one x so tell me what should i do next um yes it's okay don't hesitate just tell me fine minus x yes very good then minus x again see now you can see that <coughs> one block of x is equal to six blocks of one or you can say that x is equal to six did you understand that now yeah yeah okay so let's do one more equation and then we will go forward with how we how to actually solve an equation yeah or let me just choose a new one let's uh we've already done this right fine let's do this hmm yes what can we do in this um, we can remove the one so should i do plus one or minus one on both sides minus one okay i'll do minus one then then minus x okay next minus x again okay next then Ma minus 1 okay minus 1 then minus x okay minus x
a minus x. Okay. Then minus x. Okay. Now minus x. Minus x. But we have to find x should be equal to something. We have to find the value of x, right? Yeah, so. Should I do plus x? Yeah. Okay, now look at your equation. Your equation should be x should be on one side and there should be no nothing else apart from x over here. This thing shouldn't be there. On the other, si on the other side, there should be no x but only the number. Now tell. Minus 1. If you do minus 1, then it's only going to increase this number. You're, you're adding a minus 1. You're adding a minus 1. So this, this yellow stick thingy keeps on increasing. If you do minus 1. Yeah. So, uh, plus one. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Yes. Plus one, then? Plus one again. Again, then? Then? Can you, uh, plus one. Okay, then? yeah so tell me what did you find the value of x as the x is equal to how many blocks of one x is equal to two, two x is equal blocks to two. of one very good it's equal to two i'm going to share this link with you and you can play this game whenever you want right now we'll get back to our class you can you see my whiteboard now yeah yeah, okay. Okay. Fine. All right. So let's say you have um you have this equation x plus 3 is equal to 8. Can you find out the value of x? Uh, 5. 5. And how did you guess that? Because 5 plus 3 is 8. Very good. 5 plus 3 is 8. How about if it was something really big? So what we can do is, let's do one thing. Let's start remove. Let's this. Let's remove this three from the left hand side. But so our aim. What is our aim? Our aim is that on the left hand side we only have x. Okay. We only want the value of x on the left hand side. Like we only want x on the left hand side so that we can see what is it equal to. It should be like x is equal to something. Okay. We should have it like this because we want to find what is x. In this case, I'm just giving an easier example because it will be easy for you to understand. Um, but you can do this with uh, difficult questions as well. So anyway, so you have it like this. So your aim should be to isolate x and put it on one side. It can either be the left side, it can be the right side, but it has to be on one side. Okay. so. Let's remove whatever extra is there apart from our variable. Okay, apart from our variable, whatever extra is there, let's remove it. So how do we remove 3? Can we just remove it and throw it out of the equation? Or do we have to do something? Yes? Hiba? 
I didn't understand. Hmm. Didn't understand. Okay. Did you understand this? That we need to have it as x is equal to something, so that we can find out yeah. what is the value of x. You understood this? Yeah. Yeah. Now. Okay. Tell me. we want to find out the value of x right so will it help if i keep if i add some number on the left hand side this is my left hand side and let's say this is my right hand side will it help if i add some number on my left hand side let's say if i add 1 to both of the sides will it help no no Okay, we'll come to that later. First, I need what should I remove from the left hand side so that I can only have x three on the left hand side. Yes, I should remove three. And how will I do that? How will I remove three? Um, how will x, I remove three? X minus three. Hmm. If you have x minus three, then again x is not alone; it's not isolated. It still has three with it, but we don't want that. We want x to be alone. It's oh, sorry; it has minus three with it, but we want x to be alone. How will you remove three from here? If you want to remove three, again I'm asking that remove three. What will you do? Simple. You will subtract three from both the sides. You will subtract three from the left hand side and from the right hand side. Why from the right hand side? Because you have to maintain the balance. Remember, we play. We just now saw that balance game. Yeah. Yeah. So why are we removing three and not any other number? Why are we doing minus three? Because over here we have plus three, right? And we want that three to go away. We want to remove three. what do we mean when we are saying remove remove means subtraction isn't it if you say remove yeah. something from this place that means you are subtracting it from that place right yeah understood eva yes i understand that okay so that's why you are doing minus 3 to the left hand side but if you are doing any operation anything on one side you also have to do it on the other side so as to maintain a balance so that's why we are doing minus 3 on the right side as well so now tell me what will the left side become if you do x plus 3 minus 3 yes siba Hiba. Can okay, forget say, about x. Hiba, can you tell me what is three minus three? Zero. Zero. So you can say that our plus three and minus three they are getting cancelled, and on the left hand side, in the end, I am left with x on this side of the equation. On like on the left side of the Equal to sign. Can you tell me what are we left with on this side of the equation? Eight minus three. It's not divided by. Don't get confused. Eight minus three. Yeah. What is it? Five. Very good. Five. Okay. So this is the solution. Now, uh, Hiba, I will give you a few questions for homework. Please write it down. you have to do it using this method using the balance method okay okay please note it down
Okay. You have six questions for homework. So let me know when you're done, Hiba, with uh, done noting the questions. Hmm. Assalamu alaikum, Sami, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Have you done your homework? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Take out your homework, we'll discuss it. Okay, ma'am. One minute, ma'am. Uh, I have a job. Okay, assalamu alaikum, ma'am. Ma'am, give me a second, okay? Oh, it's okay. one second, okay? Hmm. Yeah, finish. My network is going slow. Um, Hello? Yes. Hanji? Yeah. Yes. I read the homework and the clock sums. Okay, wait. Sami, a minute. Ma'am, after the previous class, you taught me how to see clock. So, uh, so um, in in my house, wherever I see, I I, I know how to read the clock. Now my <laughs> mother says, my now mother says you learn how to how to how to see clock. So so tell me the time. She she told she told me see the clock and tell me the time. And I told her and she and she uh, told me good. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. I'm really proud of you. That's very nice. Seriously, I can't believe. For, uh, uh, I literally saw the time and uh, told the time. I was happy. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you will keep learning more and more, inshallah. Okay. So you're a very nice student, yeah. mashallah. You're a very good kid. You do your homework and everything. It's very nice. Okay. So tell me, uh, what were the questions? Now I don't need to see. Now I don't need to see my tab or open phone to see timings. Just see around around the room, and I will I will know the timings. That's very good. Hmm. Tell me, what were the questions? Okay, ma'am. So first question that I left, I do 